You want to get a Coke can or whatever you're normally going to melt forge in there. Trace around it. A little bigger around it, of course. And cut it open. Make a hole. Here, to make it easier, if you have a Dremel tool or a rotary, use one of these. There we go. That part's done. Perfect. Now I just need to cut up here and put a door hinge or two. Alright. Unitherm. Ceramic insulation. Let's see how big this really is. This is 8 pounds, 24 inch by 5 foot. 1 inch thick. Let's hope it's be good enough with the rigidizer. Is that good enough? Yeah. That'll work. Perfect. And a little of this action. Get a nice little cut. And off comes the top. Yeah. Ready to put the ceramic wool in. Check it out. Here's how it's going. It's really cool. It's easier than I thought. I should put a fire brick in there. Maybe a big one. So I can put the jet right here. You know, get the bottom of it. And put the secondary jet over somewhere nearby. That was actually really nice. It, hits, it squishes in nice contours to the cylinder. Now I have to just do the holes in the fabric and I, well, I still have to get the rigidizer. Hang on. Rigidizer. Got this from eBay. If you want the link, I'll put it in the description. Simul Rigidizer. I will give you five dollars to drink this. Five dollars. Think of all the things that you can't do with five dollars and take a drink. Come on, I know you're thirsty. You know you want some. I know you want to make your poop hard and glassy and resistant up to 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, all for five dollars. Come on, it's not good for you. Come on. Okay, whatever. Let's go apply it. When you get the container, it has a top on it. Like this, it's pressed in there. Get you some pliers and just reach in there, grab it, and pry it off. You're welcome. And now spray. Stupid nozzle. You get the idea, just you know what I mean. Soak it down.
this is eight kilograms right here. Well, about six because they shipped it to me broken. Well, the delivery people broke it. Shoving it into the mailbox. This is about six kilograms. If you ever come across gloves like these, don't use them. The heat will go through it like nothing. I don't care how comfortable it feels. These are not heat resistant. These burn. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get you something else. I don't know what else yet. Still learning. Alright, this is my last clip for this video. I, uh, one of those made about this much. I don't know how many cans it was. I didn't count, but... Yeah. Well, my plans are... I want to make a hub, wheel hub, for that lawnmower to use car tires or trailer tires because I have trailer tires that I can't do anything with and I can't return them so I have to do something with it so I'm going to make a wheel hub. See how that turns out and other stuff too. But that's my plans and uh, the car's looking good looking good. I can't wait to put that spoiler on there because I know I'm going to need it when I put those twin turbos on on the street. Anyway, that's my plan. So if you want to subscribe and hopefully I have some good luck melting metals. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. And I hope I make some money doing it because jobs are so hard to come by. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, peace. Have fun. Let me know if you got any projects going, melting metal or whatever. Oh, have a good one.